everybody, it's Lissa. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a super exciting video. A video that I have been wanting to do for a while now, but I was just waiting to go get everything that I wanted to show you guys. I understand if this video is not for everybody, but I'm putting it on my main channel because this is something that, you know, is a part of me and it's a part of my life. So I wanted to start a new series on my main channel about my journey with witchcraft and everything like that. I am a beginner witch. Um, I don't know a lot i'm still like learning doing research and things like that but i have slowly started accumulating things for my altar so i wanted to show you guys the things that i have bought from the dollar store uh target and etsy is the things that are going to be in this haul today i actually went to the dollar tree and target today um, because i drove by the dollar tree and i saw that there wasn't anybody inside this morning so i went ahead and went in um, I've been trying to avoid it because of everything going on, but there was nobody in there So I went ahead and went in there and grabbed some things and then I have this package from Etsy that I bought and this was hundred and twenty dollars worth of witchcraft stuff in this box. So this is super exciting I'm gonna wait till last to open this box, but first I'm gonna show you everything in these bags So this is all the stuff I got from Dollar Tree and this is all the stuff I got from Target And I'm just gonna show you the things that I got and I guess explain them a little bit Like I said, I am a beginner witch and there's a lot of stuff I do not know So if you'd like to give me any advice or things um, if you're a practicing witch then just comment down below and let me know But I hope you guys like this series a lot of you have messaged me and asked if I could do more witch videos and I'm totally down for it. So I'm going to start doing witch videos on this channel. Um, I'll start having more witch videos on my reading channel as well, especially if it has to do with like witch books and things like that. That'll be on my reading channel. But everything otherwise, like hauls and things like that, will be on this channel. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with Target because I think I only got two witch things at Target. I did get other things as well because you can't just go into Target and not buy so many random things you didn't go in there for. So the first thing is I went into the like notebook aisle because I wanted to find like a kind of older looking journal or something that I can make my book of shadows with. And this one doesn't look older, but it really caught my eye. I think it's really pretty and I just couldn't not buy it. I think it was like $10. I don't really remember, but it's like this gray notebook and it's held together with this pin. I don't even know how good of a pin that it is. Um, I don't even know if I'm going to use this pin, but it holds it together and then it opens up into this really just common notebook. I think I'm gonna like tea stain the pages in here and make it my book of shadows because I just think it really fits like my aesthetic, just gray. I, I really like the color gray. So I think this will be my book of shadows. I'm not 100% sure yet because I kind of wanted to get like a bullet type journal for it, but this just really screams me. So it's like this really nice fabric material. It was like 10, $15. Um, and it has quite a few pages, so. And then the last thing I got from Target that's witch related is this green candle. Um, this is a sea salt vanilla pillar candle. The reason I got it at Target is because I couldn't find a green candle at the Dollar Tree. It's sea salt vanilla, which is not a horrible smell, but I wish there was unscented candles that I could find. But yeah, it was, I think, two dollars or something like that but it's the brand threshold and it's just a green candle because i want to do a money spell and i believe you use a green candle for that so i wanted to make sure i had one all right so now for the good stuff at dollar tree i love the dollar tree there's so many things there and a lot of you guys recommended going there for witchcraft stuff and i've been watching other haul videos on it and there's so many things that you can get and they're all a dollar so i just went ham I actually didn't get as many things as I wish I would have. Like now that I think back at all the things that I saw, I wish I would have grabbed other things, but I can always go back. So first um, we have these taper candles. Um, I got white ones and red ones. These are the only two colors they had of these types of candles. They had white, red, and I think they had like a creamy, like tan color, but I grabbed these two and it comes in a two pack. They had tons of candles guys. So if you are looking for candles, definitely go to the Dollar Tree. And then I got two of these candle holders for the pillar candles that are pillar, whatever those can taper candles that I just showed you to put them in they're glass. So I saw these and I grabbed them because I think they're super cute. I didn't see any other kinds, but my Dollar Tree near me is actually a really small Dollar Tree. So they don't have as much stuff as other 
dollar stores have. So every dollar store would be different, but I really like these actually because they're glass and they're very simple. And I got one of these plain candles that you guys probably see all the time in hauls if you watch hauls. They did have ones with like different, like, like Jesus and things on them. Um, things that you put on like altars and things. But this one already didn't have like a label on it, so I just went ahead and got this one. They had just white ones there, so I only grabbed one. But this is really good for rituals and spells and stuff, so definitely a white candle is the best one to get. Then the thing that all witches most likely have is tea light candles. I got two 16 packs of white tea light candles. That's what they look like. They were a dollar each. I mean, what else is there to say? Everybody uses tea light candles. Then I got this candle like holder. Yeah, it's called a candle holder on the back here. And you literally just put your pillar candles on it just so when it melts, it doesn't get all over the place. This one may be kind of big for this one, but they had many different kinds of candle holders at the Dollar Tree. They had mirrored looking ones, they had glitter ones. I just got this one because I, it's just plain and I like the way that it looks a little bit better. You can also buy these to put like crystals on and stuff too if you'd want. And then as I was digging through everything, I found a lot of fragrance satchel type things. So the first one, which it smells amazing, Right now, I love the smell of all of these things. Um, it came with a two pack of lavender, which is so cute. They had so many different types of smells, um, but you know, lavender is like the best one to get for sure. So yeah, that's a two pack. It says that you can use it in bathrooms, trash cans, cars, vacuum, closet, gift baths, you know, but you can also use them for spells and stuff and I just like threw it. And I'm not too sure if these other things are in different potions or spells and stuff like that, but I just grabbed them because first of all, the packaging is cute and I just like the smell of them. This is lemongrass ginger and this is a two pack of this as well. This is the one that I smell. That is my favorite smell and I'm so excited. And the picture actually has a bundle right here and I really like the art on this one. That's mainly why I grabbed it. And then the last one I got was Amber. This is what this one looks like. They also had like white rose. They had one called like vanilla something. They had a lot of different ones, but these are just the ones I grabbed. And they're not super, super strong, but they're definitely like very nice. It would be nice to have in the bathroom actually. Very relaxing smells. So I got those 12 things for 12 bucks at the Dollar Tree. And that is a lot of things that people start off their altars with, with just like candles and candle holders and things like that. They also had little jars that you could put like herbs in. They had like big bottles that you could put like rainwater in and things like that. I was actually, now that I, thinking back at it, they had like this nice, it looked like a vinegar jar and it had like a top on it. And I wanted to get that to get, put rainwater in, but I didn't grab it and I regret it, but it's okay. That's all of the stuff I got at the Dollar Tree and Target. And now I'm going to dig into this baby who I'm very excited about. $120 is a lot for me to spend on something like this. And I really hope it is worth the money. I am very cheap, so I may not know if this is worth the money or not. So just let me know down below. So I got this from the seller Sophie's Pincher on Etsy. She is, her shop on Etsy has the most like best selling witch kits. She makes all these witch kits and hers are the best selling ones on Etsy. Hers are the ones that pop up when you type in like witchcraft kit and things like that on Etsy. Hers are always the ones that pop up. So that's why I bought it. She has good reviews, but it definitely was $120, but the shipping was super fast. It came in two days. I ordered it on Wednesday and it came Friday. It was supposed to be delivered Friday, but since I have a PO box, I got it on Saturday. So it came in two days, which is crazy. There's supposed to be a lot of awesome stuff in here. Um, the creator of this package actually messaged me afterwards and she told me that she's including some things for me um, to show you in the video. But I will have a link for her shop down below if you guys are interested. So it's supposed to have like crystals, herbs, sage bundles. There's supposed to be a lot of different things in here. So I'm just gonna stop talking and actually open it so you guys can see what is on the inside. I was expecting this package to be way bigger, honestly. Like when I opened my PO box and saw this tiny box, like it's really not big. It's like the size of my head maybe. I don't know why I was expecting something so much bigger. Like maybe in the picture it just looked bigger than it is. I'm glad I didn't cut too far into the box because there's literally stuff like all the way to the top. I barely cut it, so be careful if you buy this cutting it. So there's a little envelope at the top right here and it says a gift to say thank you. So I guess I'm gonna go ahead and open that first. Oh my God. 
Oh my god, I'm so excited. Okay, I'm gonna open this first. Oh, it's a little spoon. Why is it a little spoon? Oh my god, it's so cute. What? Look, it's a little spoon. I don't even know what this would be for, but it's the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. The tiniest spoon I have ever seen. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna dig in here because I'm way too excited. So this is a charm. Dear Alyssa, thanks for your order. I had so much fun creating it for you. I hope this witchcraft kit fills your life with magic. Blessed be Sage Riza, I think that's how you say her last name. And this front paper right here has this charm actually like glued onto it so you could actually take this off and use this on a necklace or something it has the moon faces on it so this says your tarot spread at the top we have a whole tarot spread which i actually do tarot myself um, i have a couple of tarot kits and i do tarot readings a lot so i got all these cards i'm not going to go through all of them because it is my tarot reading <laughs> But I, I don't know what every single card means still. I'm still learning what cards mean. So I'm gonna have to um, look at this afterwards. My latest tarot card readings haven't been so hot, honestly, and my life follows the exact readings that I've been getting. So <laughs> I don't really wanna look at it right now. Oh my gosh, okay. And then the next thing up at the top, um, by the way, she has a website, it's called secretlyawitch.com and this is her logo. I think it's her, I don't know, I'm just like assuming your gender, I'm sorry. Um, so it says guides to the herbs, oils, and crystals included in your kit. And it has all the information in here about the things that are in the kit. So I will read those as I look at them. But oh my gosh, look at this chest. There's a whole chest in here. And that, this is what I was very excited for, like getting this chest because I'm obsessed with things like this. So that's all in the box. Oh, it's so cute. I can't, I am already obsessed with this. It looks like all the herbs are up at the top right there wrapped up. And then we have the inside right here. So there's a little satchel up here that I am going to grab first and see what's on the inside of it. I wanna say it's a wand. Yes, it's a wand. And it actually is on a chain, which I wouldn't wear this um, necklace. I might actually take this chain off and put that pendant that was on that card and put that on this chain and wear it as a necklace. But here is the wand. You don't necessarily need a wand to be a witch, but it's always a little bit more fun to do spells and stuff with a wand if you'd like, or just to have it on your altar. This is so cute. And if you'd want to wear it as a necklace, you could wear it as a necklace or you can hang it from somewhere. So I'm gonna go over all of the herbs um, after I go through the box. So we've got this like blue cloth that's over everything. So I'm just gonna let that hang for right now. But at the top, we have a bag that looks like it has a crystal ball on it with some hands. Yeah, hands on the crystal ball. There's nothing inside the bag. I think it just is a bag for you to use. And everything is packaged very well. Like everything is protected by this material right here. Like cotton? I think it's cotton. Yeah, we just have this like velvet thing. And I think she just has this to cover everything safely, but I love this material. Like it's one of my favorite materials that to wear. I actually have a lot of shirts with this. And here is what it looks like on the inside. So there's more in here. We've got a little baggie with little bottles in it. I'm not sure what these are. So we've got frankincense, lavender, and patchouli. I think that's what that says, I can't tell. I don't know how to say half these things and y'all are gonna clown me. I got vanilla, rosemary, and bergamot. I don't know if I said that right, but they're little, six little jars with the oils in them. Very tiny jars. There's so many little baggies in here, like I don't know what to grab first. Okay, so this one has some type of crystal in it. I'm very um, new when it comes to learning about certain crystals, so I don't know what a lot of things are. Wow, this is really pretty. I honestly have no idea which what crystal this is, if I'm being completely honest with you, but I will figure it out. <laughs> I'm so, I told you, I don't know a lot of things. And then this one is pink. This looks like some type of quartz. It's in a brown bag. Ooh, this is so pretty. It looks like a light pink. It looks like a rose quartz to me. Yeah, it's a rose quartz. It's for self-esteem, peace, fertility, creativity, love, compassion, beauty, fidelity, and happiness. I love rose quartz. I've actually, I used to have a couple rose quartz a couple years ago and I just don't know where they went. So I'm, I'm glad to have one again. And I know this one's an amethyst because amethyst is actually one of my favorite crystals. 
Um, I've always just loved it. Like even when I was younger, I was always drawn to this crystal. I used to actually have one. Um, I went to Rock City when I was in fifth grade and I got this really big amethyst crystal and I had it in my room forever and then it actually was knocked over by my old cat and it broke and this is just so nice to have an amethyst crystal back. Like I seriously have loved amethyst crystals since I was a little kid and this is really beautiful. <laughs> I'm obsessed with this. This is my favorite. <laughs> okay, and then we have another baggie with another type of quartz. Wow, this is so cute. Oh my God, it has like the little one sticking out at the side. It has that little one sticking out at the side right here. This is just like a normal quartz. Yeah, this is for healing, drawing out pain, protection from negative vibra vibrations, meditation, psychic powers, balance, magical strength. So I know this one's just like a normal quartz. This one's really pretty though, like the way it's shaped. I really like that little one just like sticking out right there. Then we've got another little green baggie. Wow, what is this? This is so pretty. Here's this one. I have no idea what this is. If someone could comment down below and let me know what the first one and this one is, just so I am not ignorant to it. All right, and then the last two things in here is a sage bundle and a and a Palo Santo stick. Um, the Palo Santo is used to dispel darkness and fear, strengthen you, aid in the ability to handle emergencies, and you use it to drive off evil and negativity. You can carry it in a satchel or use with a poppet to turn back a spell into one who cast it. There's a lot of different things that you can do with that. And sage, of course, just kind of purifies the air. There's a couple other things that sage does. Um, I actually have like incense sticks of sage that I burn in my room every so often, but I've never actually owned a bundle of it. So that's really cool. I need to get like a incense holder or something. And then these Palo Santo sticks, literally just like little sticks of wood. So that was all the things that came in this chest. So for $120, I got all of that stuff plus the chest. Um, now I'm gonna show you the herbs. So there's 14 herbs in here in little glass jars. I told, I'm telling you guys, I don't know what you do with herbs. I haven't done much research into things that include herbs. So excuse me for like not knowing certain things. And I also don't know if I'm going to say any of these right. So I'm just gonna show you them. Um, we've got some jasmine flowers, some mugwort herb, um, and things like that. So they're all kind of taped together nicely so they don't fall, but I'll let you read them. So that is the first line right here. And then in this one we have lavender flowers, red rose petals, no, um, cat claws bark, red clover blossom. These look cool. Looks like I got a couple different things of lavender today. So that is all the herbs that I got. I'm gonna have to do research and they're actually all in this book of what all the different herbs are for. So if you guys want to check out her stuff, I will put her Etsy shop down below. Do I think it's worth $120? I honestly have no idea because I don't know how much stuff is worth. Honestly, every single time I see a crystal, it is very, very expensive. And since they, she gave me like four crystals, I feel like the box is worth that much in crystals alone. So I don't know, I don't really care. Um, I wanna support, you know, a smaller business. And she's doing good things with making little witchcraft kits for beginner witches like me. So she has cheaper kits on her website as well. Like she has ones that are like 50, 60, 80. There's actually more expensive ones that she has as well. So I'm not sponsored, but I just wanted to give you guys an option, especially right now when you can only really buy stuff online places right now. There's not a lot of stores open that you guys can get some witch stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any video requests, then comment them down below. Check out all my social medias down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.